this is Devin. Nonprofits are always trying to figure out how to get the most bang for their money, and it's vitally important that they do. And when it comes to advertising, communicating with your audience, that, that is one of the key areas where being frugal, miserly, careful, strategic is really important. So I want to talk, especially to small nonprofits who aren't yet advertising on Facebook, about how to begin trying that. And the exciting thing is, I know it sounds scary to spend money on Facebook. It sounds uh, intimidating. It sounds like a waste of money. But you can start testing your ability to reach an audience and create impact with as little as a few dollars. So let's try it. So uh, go to your Facebook page. You can do this uh, with me or just do it right after. But scroll through your posts and look for something that you might want to share that you really hope uh, more people would see than have already seen it. So I'm looking at a post on my screen that I can see only 23 people have seen, but I'd like more people to see this post. So I can go to, um, just click on this button, Boost Post, and I know that's a scary button for some people, and you may not have tried it, or you may have gotten this far and, and uh, been too intimidated. Now, I've set up 105 different audiences, and it's almost instantaneous to set up a new one, so it's really easy. But let's start, let's just, let's presume that you just want to make sure that everyone who likes your page has a chance to see it, which is a great place for me to say that if you post something on your page, not everyone who likes it will have an opportunity to see it. That's the deal with a Facebook page. Facebook isn't going to show that post to everyone unless you pay. So now they'll show it to some people, but not to everyone who likes your page. You've got to pay to get more people to see it. Now you can never get everyone to see it because some of the people who've liked your page aren't on Facebook, whether it's because they're on vacation this week or have stopped using Facebook altogether. But that, So you'll never get 100%. But if you want to get more, uh, you just choose the people who like your page. And that's a way, great way to make sure you're communicating with the people who already know and like you. So you click that option, and you'll have that option that everybody does. Uh, you probably want to also run this on Instagram. Uh, why not? Then uh, you also want to take an opportunity to um, set your budget. Uh, my budget uh, that I like to use is five dollars uh, for little things like this because it's a really easy and affordable way to start testing the market. Then uh, I want you to um, scroll down. Usually it'll give you an estimate of the people you can reach with a post. Uh, that's not working on this post. Don't know why. Then you set your duration. Uh, one day is a good way to spend five dollars. You have to spend at least a dollar a day, so I couldn't choose seven dollars or seven days without increasing my budget to seven days or seven dollars. Uh, we'll skip the Facebook pixel for today and come back to that in, in the future. And finally, you'll need to enter a payment method. I've already got mine on, on file. Once you've done that, you just click boost and you're advertising on Facebook. It's that easy.